Hey, my people, I want to say hello to everybody. Uh, especially give a shout out to my man Brown Hornet. Uh, a couple other brothers on here that uh, gave me shots out in my last videos. And um, especially got my man Brown Hornet 71 on my mind because uh, something that uh, me and him have talked about in the past about voting. And um, even though everybody in my household has voted, including my 18 year old son. Um, I gotta respect what he says and you know I voted every year since I was 18 even when I was in the military I did uh, absentee ballots and voted no matter where I was at and but I don't I don't buy into the notion that some people say well if you don't vote you don't have a voice you know uh, because that's nonsense because the mere fact that you are an American you should have a voice in this country whether you vote or not some people choose not to vote because uh, basically it just goes against their conscience and you know um, in Vietnam and even these wars we have today we have uh, veterans who are uh, and people who are conscientious objectors doesn't mean that they uh, demonize the people that participate in the wars but they just don't agree with the wars um, so I never say to someone well if you don't vote you don't have a voice because I've seen a few comments on my page like that and just because I don't come out and endorse a particular candidate doesn't mean that I didn't vote or doesn't mean that you didn't vote it just means that that's something that, like most people, that's private. And basically, you know, you keep that under your cuff if you want to. Or, you know, you can do what you want to do. I mean, everybody didn't vote for Obama and everybody didn't vote for Romney. There are other candidates like Gary Johnson on the ballot. Okay? So you vote for, so you vote for what suits you. Um, but... Be that as it may, let's say Obama is reelected. Okay, what's going to change? A few things will be preserved for four more years, like Obamacare. But, and you know, um, of course, we can't really look at Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, in such short terms because the the uh, changes that both parties basically want to implement won't be until further down the road but let's just say he is reelected come January okay well I'm using January because that's when you know they do the official hublas and you know acceptance and all that but let's just say this month he's reelected in a week less than a week now but let's just say he's reelected what will change with the political process in America nothing will the jobs bill that he's been trying to pass for, for two and a half years finally get through Congress will a will a expanded green jobs bill finally get through Congress What will change? Will he finally be able to talk to a group of people that support him at a 90% percentile rate being African American people? Will he finally be able to talk to us directly from the office of the President of the United States of America? I mean, other than giving free phones for people on Medicaid and welfare and social services but they do that in Nigeria I mean so I mean I think our lack of understanding how the political process actually works in America is what has the American political process so jacked up you know, every other government 
in the free world has more than two parties, two control two controlling parties in the government, except America. Of course, we have a sprinkling, and when I say a sprinkling of independence, but this is a process that does not work. You either Democrat or you're Republican. Okay? And both of these parties are divided among racial lines. And the elephant in the room is the hate that black and white people have for each other that they try to act like doesn't exist. But until you recognize that that hate does exist, then the political process doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So we can sit back where our Obama tees like I'm wearing. And we could go out and beat the bushes and do whatever we do. But come January, his second term, should he be reelected? More the same bullshit. His second term will be strictly about preservation of what he's already luckily got through these assholes in Congress. Okay? The Republican the Republican controlled Congress. That's all it'll be. Because the minority whip leader has already said that his second term will be more of his last two years. They have made a pact not to give this man a damn thing. So unless there's some magic wand that you can paint to get these old middle aged aging white men, get these assholes out of Congress and out of the Senate, then what do you actually honestly expect Obama to do in his second term? And this is a question that I have. What do we honestly expect him to get by these assholes the second term. And don't hit me with arguments about Obamacare because like I already said, his second term will just be strictly about preservation of what he's already passed. And we know Obamacare is passed even though it's not been fully implemented. Okay. So what do you expect him to do his second term? When the same people are still in the Congress, same people still in the Senate, these very powerful old white men that he cannot get by. And now, and let me point out one thing. The other week, when he was on David Letterman, when David Letterman asked him, How is he going to get by this Republican controlled house? in reference to being bipartisan and he said well if I have to go and wash cars and walk their dogs I'll do anything to work with them and I'm paraphrasing that but what do you think they say when they see that or when they hear that statement or when they read that like I read it they've already got him beat because here is the most powerful man in the world saying that basically he'll kiss your ass He'll do anything to work with you. And I'm not saying that Obama will kiss anybody's behind. I'm not saying that because I would never disrespect the office of the president. But what I'm saying is, think about it. What would you think if you heard your arch enemy say that about you? That would empower me. So, like I said, the name of this video should be more of the same. Because that's what it will be. More of the same. We'll withdraw out of Afghanistan in 2014. Even though they've just entered into talks to extend that. From some sources say that. I don't know. I haven't confirmed it yet. But. He's not God people. He's not God. And when I stood in line. 35 minutes the other day. I understood that. So, a lot of times it's about lowering your expectations so you don't be so disappointed. 
So leave your comments, man. Just be respectful. Peace.